cordon bleu. And what that means, I don't have a clue. Five peeps, what's going on? I uh, look at that handsome face. Look at it. I uh, busy day, crazy busy day, and the boss is away. Um, which I actually, as much as I like to say, which is awesome, but I don't like it when the boss is away. But um, it's uh, been a good day thus far. Like I say, crazy busy, just trying to catch up. I wasn't going to come home for lunch, but my. Uh, my awesome boy Isaiah uh, sent me a text message and said, How about I make dinner for you? <laughs> Change of plans. Be there at 12, I said. So, home for uh, a bit of lunch. We get some hot Italian deer sausage, got some a la crap dinner, and uh, gonna chow down, go back to work, and pull that little bit of hair left out. And it is late on uh, Monday. Well, it's not late. Well, it is when you're as old as I am. It is 10 minutes after 8, Monday evening. And uh, haven't uh, had a crazy day. Uh, loads on the go. Uh, barbecued some deer sausage, thanks to my good buddy Jonathan, uh, for, for providing some deer, hot Italian deer sausage. Who there? It was delicious. I had some for dinner, and uh, then I had some for supper. And uh, <clears throat> Braden, I think, had a full course of deer sausage and meatballs, some sort, left over from the other night. So he had a full round course of meat. That's my boy. Um, and right now the boys are taking some cardboard uh, that we have to get out for recyclables, taking them out by the roadside. And then uh, Sean will be back from cleaning, and we're going to, I think, head to Tim Hortons for some uh, for some hot drinks. We're going to Tim's. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs> going to Tim's. Breaker, breaker, one nine. We're pretending we're cops, and we're going to Tim Hortons to get a donut. <laughs> now we're just going to meet with a couple. <clears throat> couple of guys I'm um, gonna talk about nonsense but we're somehow gonna do it with serious looks on our faces make it look like it's the meeting of the minds but really it's the meeting of the mindless <laughs> anyways gonna go grab uh, a hot coffee it's a uh, Canadian tradition to go to Tim Hortons and drink a hot drink well, we are all done at Tim Hortons. I would have videoed, except we were very busy uh, solving the world's problems. It was a very serious discussion with some very, very serious men and uh, and some very young men too. Six months and what? Four, three? Four. I don't know. I don't know how old he is. That's terrible. Your nice there you go. So really young. Anyways, it was uh, swell good. It was swell good. Uh, but we're gonna sign off for tonight. So it's gonna be just like that, and it's gonna be morning, which is a terrible thought, really, because tomorrow is Tuesday, and I don't want to be negative. <sighs> yes. <laughs> But Tuesday is Tuesday. So anyways, we'll talk to you soon. Home for a quick uh, bite of lunch uh, in a not too bad of a day, actually. It's, it's not been too bad. Uh, but Shauna's home today. And this is what's waiting for me. Some fries and chicken, chicken cordon bleu. And what that means, I don't have a clue. <laughs> but it's a uh, stuffed chicken or something.
ham and cheese stuffed inside of chicken and some french fries with ketchup and Frank's hot sauce. My my. So just waiting for Brayden to get home from school because he's supposed to be going to mow a lawn for a lady and uh, once he changes I'll have to actually drive him down there. So while I'm waiting, just in case my sugar is getting down, I'm going to have some of one of the best things ever created. One of the few good things about fall and winter coming. Candy corn. Good evening. Whoops. Click, click. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I'm Bob here. Brayden here. We're uh, we're gonna close off the vlog. I know this uh, this one I think is a relatively short one as uh, in comparison to the rest of our vlogs. I'll probably blow that all to pieces right now. Uh, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna sign off. But um, I was thinking a lot today uh, in our community. Um, a music teacher from one of the local schools just passed away, um, and so her life, naturally being a teacher, but being a very outgoing person, being a very community-minded person, um, she left a mark on a lot of lives, and uh, a lot of people have. A cool outlook on life because of things that she said or did or ways that she taught them to recognize music or to be music and uh, be musical I meant um, so that's kind of cool um, anyways I, I guess uh, all day today I was hearing different people that were saying last time I seen her this we were talking about this or the last time I seen her she made me laugh about this here and I thought what a what a cool thing to have said about you if you're the one that's gone you know hey the last time I seen that person they made me laugh they made me smile or um, another way to look at it is uh, you know we need to love and appreciate those that are around us as much as we possibly can because we never know what tomorrow holds and, and what's going to happen so not only do we need to smile as much as we can not every day has a smile in it some days are that was me yawning. <laughs> some days are uh, some days are tiring and funny or frustrating or mm. joyful or whatever. Some days are a lot of work involved. Long. Some days are long. That's right. And this was Tuesday, so it was quite long. And uh, how was your day? Long. <laughs> Guess Isaiah just found the <laughs> nanner bread, homemade banana bread. Um, Yummy for my tummy. So, anyways, if you don't have a smile, um, try try to be the smile in somebody else's life, or get around somebody who does make you smile. Get around to someone who makes you smile on the inside. And uh, my boys always put a smile on my face, make me laugh. We always carry on. You gotta love that face. Anyways, until next time. Turn that frown upside down. This vlog has been brought to you by Sussex Golden Ginger Ale. Cheers, everyone.